I want to go to a casino. I miss casinos. Have you ever been? On like vacations, yeah. I've never been. You know, free alcohol the whole time you're there because they just want you to get shit house. Are you serious? Yeah. And most of them. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I'm pretty sure in most casinos they just keep just open bar. Yep. The drunker you get, the more you're like, you know what? I want to fucking hit. It smells like dirty asshole and, and cigarettes. <laughs> and more dirty asshole. Yeah. And cigarettes. Pull the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking sick ching, 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 ching. Yeah dude And there's always the old lady that's just fucking sitting there Putting all her quarters in the machine She wins 900,000 Yep. Happy Valentine's Day to all my grandmas out there Yes, happy Valentine's Day To all the couples, all the single people too But most importantly, all the grandmas out there Phil, dude. welcome back to Sunday Sauce I'm talking to you, welcome back buddy Thank you man How we doing today? It's great to be back, you know Hey, it's great to have you here <laughs> It's a beautiful day. So I was watching TLC, right? TLC, great network. Well, it's part of disco. What Discovery. the fuck is disco? Oh, is that yeah. what you call it these days? Disco? Yeah, disco party, dude. Yeah, disco. Okay, nice. And on My Strange Obsession, okay. there was this man who was in love with grandmas, not just like moms, milfs, you know, cougars. He's in like the grandma, great grandma territory. Bro. And guess what this man said? I can only imagine. <laughs> so someone set him up with a date with like a nice young looking girl to see if you'd be interested. He wasn't feeling her. Wasn't feeling her. We said goodbye. He said, say hello to your grandmother for me. No! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you imagine if he watches the podcast, dude? He'd fucking bust a nut every Sunday if he watched this. That's someone that we need to have on. We always talk about these potential guests. I mean... Grandma guy. Dude, I will we got a get seat that guy at the table. Please, <laughs> we have to DM him. Last week, we DM Cody Go. This week, we DM Grandma the guy. Absolutely. Dude, that would be fantastic. But yeah, Valentine's Day, love is in the air. Any uh, exciting Valentine's Day plans, my guy? Because I'll tell you what I'm going to do Oh, tomorrow. yeah, what are you going to do? I'm just going to eat some food, work on some YouTube content. There you go. I was going to say cuddle with Holly, but Holly's upstate with my parents, so I guess I can't do that. It's going to be a lonely day, Phil. Last year, I made a nice Valentine's Day dinner. Nice, nice, creative, I like it. This year, I can't spoil it because, you know, my mm. girlfriend watches this podcast. Well, this will go up probably while you're doing your Valentine's Day stuff, so unless she's just an avid listener that right. watches right when it right. drops, I think you'll be safe. I don't know, she's crafty, dude. She is crafty, <laughs> shout out Wildy. Get a nice, you know, assortment of gifts. Ooh, that's the best, when you do like a bunch of little gifts, a little sentimental, how you doing you over here? You telling me you don't understand cards. I just never understood the hype. Like, to me, a card is nice, but it just, you know, I could, I don't need a card. I'll tell you what the hype is. Let's hear it. Sentimental. Yes. You know, anyone could go out and buy something. True. But it takes effort, mm. mental capacity, emotions, passion, you know, passion. Ooh, passion. Yeah, exactly. That's good. <laughs> oh, oui, oui. Yeah. Dude, this guy with the passion over yeah. here. So you, that's what it is. You know what it is? I feel like I'm just very vocal about my emotions to begin with, like mm. on a daily basis that like, you know how I feel about I you. you. I don't, don't got to get you a card. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was imitating you. <laughs> That's what I sound like. I love you, babe. Hey, babe, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an A1 impression. Mm -hmm. How's your espresso that took nine uh, hours for us to make over here? You know, here? me and uh, young Joseph upstairs, Lou yeah. Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno, baby. Fucking trend cough upstairs. Trend butyrol. <laughs> Yo. You mix up Trenbolone and Albuterol. Oh, Trenbuterol is not a thing? No, it's Trenbolone. See, this is why I don't know shit about yeah. roids. That's how you know I'm a true natty. And um, I didn't wait for the espresso machine to warm up, and he pressed the button, and it came out fucking see-through. Mm. It looked like iced tea, and we had to, you know. That immediately reminds me of, like, when you're about to have ketchup, and you don't shake the bottle enough, and then you get that, <laughs> that like, liquid, uh, that whatever that is. tomato water. Oh, and I love ketchup, but the tomato water, dude. It's dude, like dog water, dude. I fucking hate ketchup. It's nauseating. You're a, you're a piece of shit. I love ketchup. <laughs> mm. Ketchup. I could put ketchup on anything except desserts. Desserts don't. You don't need ketchup on desserts. Dude, I had wings last night Ooh. from your favorite wings place. I, do Do I have a favorite wings place? It's like the wings place. Right Hooters? Here. No. Buffalo Wild Wings. No. The fuck? I don't want to dox it. Can you write it on your phone? Yeah, Why yeah, am yeah. I not? Or just yeah, just type it on the top of your. Oh, yeah, good place. Dude. I haven't been there in a while, dude. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been there in a while, dude. Tell you, dude, I haven't been there in a minute, player. Mad good. Well, we were supposed to go. When? Oh, yes. I know what you're talking about. Yo, you're a silly fucking guy. guy man. It's a great fucking story. You're a silly goose. Speaking of Trenbolone or Trenbolone, whatever the fuck it's called, dude, I've been slacking, man. I have been slacking on my physique, on my healthy grind. Mm. And it's time to put an end to this slack. I'm slacking. Flat. 
dude, I don't feel good. <laughs> I look puffier by the week. Yep. And, you know, people are still even comments like, yo, Vinny, we're so proud of you and your weight loss. I'm like, yo, I, mm, I've been getting a little, I've been gaining <laughs> yeah, quite a bit in I'm the last couple now. of days. I, it feels like a bulking phase. And I've, I've been, I've been eating a lot of McDonald's. I don't know if you've seen this Ooh. yet. This right here is the 25th anniversary Pokemon Happy Meal. Mm. And I ordered one the other day because it comes with a pack of Pokemon cards. See, I got everything already to show you, Phil. This was the pack that it came in. I already showed That's you the cards. That's a pack. Very adorable, right? Very easy to open, too, like for the little kids. You know, really good nice. on you, McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's crushed it with this one. Every pack comes with a holographic. The most rare holographic in the pack or in the set, I believe, is a lovely Pikachu card. I didn't get that one. I got a Turtwig. Do you know what you should do for a short? I already did it. No, you didn't. Literally already made one about this. Ordered it on Uber Eats. It was outside. Sprinted upstairs. Pull it up. Well, okay. We'll watch it. But yeah. here's my idea. Because it's here. probably different. I'm here. Just circling fucking McDonald's, getting Happy Meals until you get the Pikachu. Hunting for the Pikachu? How many tries does it take to get the Pikachu? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe uh, I can do like one Happy Meal order a week and just make them like every Saturday. That's pussy shit. I want you to Pikachu. stay in your car and fucking keep doing laps. Like, give me that fucking Pikachu. Hey, it's me. I'm back again. Pikachu. And then Pikachu. Dude, it's just... Uh, listen. The short. Ready? The short. Every three seconds, just, huh? fuck. Huh? There it is. <laughs> just keep, you know what I mean? Every cut is just another another yeah. failed attempt. Listen, we'll see what happens. I just, you know, I want, it's for the kids, you know? Yeah, it's for the it's kids. It's for the fucking kids. I want to make sure that all the kids get their cards. I wish I would have got the Pikachu on the first attempt, you know? Mm. But, you know, we can't always get what we want in life, Phil. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I've been fucking eating nuggets and shit. But today, I'm going to say right now on the podcast, I like to manifest on our show. Today's the day. I turn it all around. It's not too late to regroup, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is a message to all of you guys. Is this camera really high today or am I fucking tripping out? You're bugging, dude. Are you, is it always at this height? Yeah. Bro, this is like an aerial bald eagle view right here. That's good because the lower we put it, the more blob-like we yeah, look. Yeah, I was going to so. say, my chin's going to look fucking sharp, crimson chin over here in today's episode. <laughs> Valentine's Day special Sunday sauce. But yeah, I don't really even remember what the fuck I was just talking about. Um, but it's going to be sick. Oh, yeah. In the new year, if you've already been slacking on like a New Year's resolution or something, it's okay. Just treat January and February as the trial run. There you go. March is where it really starts. Dude, March is where it kicks in. Everybody knows that. So yeah, I will be heading to the 150s pronto. Uh, Phil, we finally got a sports prediction right on this fucking show. The Bucks won the Super Bowl. You predicted that. Yeah, and they destroyed the Chiefs. I know. Like it wasn't even a fucking competition it was crazy mm -hmm. 31 to 9 i believe did you see the celebrations after they won they no. had a boat party in tampa tom they're, they're brady allowed to do that oh bro <laughs> tom brady was shit housed i would too bro he took the trophy the super bowl trophy he threw it from one yacht to another yacht i would do it, it was fucking He'd hilarious probably put a spiral on that shit too Dude, it looked like a beautiful pass put his whole back into it it was nice but mm. yeah you know what it was it was a very heartwarming thing to see because it made Tom Brady actually feel human. Like he's not just this calculated robotic individual. That's just an absolute savage at football. He also just gets drunk like the rest of us and wants to have a good time when good things happen in his life. And I love to fucking see that. Did you see meat Canyon's video on him? I did not. Bro. You know how he likes to kiss his kids? Yes. <laughs> That's the theme. <laughs> <laughs> That's the premise. Yeah. He does the animations, right? Meat Canyon. Yep. Can I talk about the thing that you told me? Is that, did that happen yet? It happened, but it's not out yet. Okay. Can we talk about that or no? Sure. Phil's going to be on his podcast, right? Yeah, but he hasn't posted okay. on there in a while. I'm he watches Sunday Sauce. That's awesome. So he's probably like, fuck, you spoiled it. Yo, yeah. listen, if you want to come on, we just at this point, I'm just ready to have like guests on guests. I right. love having guests on. I love just us talking as well. But to some about like a third person that we were just like, you know, shooting the shit about stonks. Right. Like the Joey D episode. I love the the chill vibes of the people that we know in our oh, it's day to day life. I feel like we're the only ones that do that. It's always like, here's Influencer X. Yeah. Hello, Influencer. How'd you get started? Here's Mom's Basement with Keemstar and FaZe Banks. And we're just like, yo, this is Brett. <laughs> Yeah. From college. Yo, what's up, Chad? <laughs> what's up, Chad and Brett? How you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Let's talk about Jeff Bezos and stonks. I started watching this guy on TikTok. <laughs> I, I think his name is literally, I got to find his exact at so you guys can go follow him. But his, his whole premise, his shtick, if you will, is that he just goes like, yo, what's up, guys? Every, 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 it's your boy. Every, every, every. <laughs> I think his name's called Eret Eret. He just keeps doing it. Bro, he is fucking hilarious. I got to find this guy. Is this him? Yeah, I found him. Okay. 
at S E K O U underscore Eric. Bro, I gotta play just like one of his videos. Sure. It's fucking hilarious. The fuck? Follow me on Instagram at Saku. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, can you imagine? Eric. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Eric, 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 Vinny. Follow me at the Sunday Souls po- Podcast. I mean, any I would go follow right after seeing that. Dude, I don't even... <sighs> I love TikTok. I deleted it again. Again? Again. Yo, you and your TikTok strikes. I'm getting sick of this Dude, shit, Dude, because every fucking two seconds... Pretty face with a small waist with a big bang and then butt cheeks in my face, man. <laughs> I'm not complaining. To be honest. <laughs> Yo, I can only imagine that would be a viral video. You should just play small waist, pretty face with a big bang in front of Wildy and just film her reactions. She fucking just charge you across the room like or a just, rhinoceros. Or I do it and just put my donker on TikTok. You oh, know what yeah, I'm dude. Wait, weren't you going to do the I'm going to try to become famous on TikTok? With least amount of effort possible or something. I mean, like... I'm still waiting for that. People were excited. I was reading the comments. There's two sides to my personality, man. There's, uh, I'm above TikTok, Phil. And then there's, play the game. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, I mean, I'm a little lost, but fair enough. Dude, you gotta like, play the game to win the game. We were just talking about this, man. Quantity versus quality. Mm. feeding the algorithm, mm. throwing shit at the wall, making sure that it sticks or, you mm-hmm. know, or until something sticks. Mm-hmm. Like we were talking about on my channel, say I were to do shorts, you said do a different channel. Well, for clips, if you're doing shorts, sh- see, again, it's interesting though, for your channel, if you, like, I, I don't know if your audience would mesh well currently with like your regular Philly on stuff. Like if you start uploading short videos, I feel like they'd be like, what the fuck is this? Right. You know what we're here for type of thing, you know? Mm. But if you made a separate channel for clips and shorts, I think that has the best potential for it to like, you know, have a meteoric rise. Okay. So Philly on Philly on shorts, Philly on clips, Philly on. <laughs> well, no, you could put the shorts and the clips on uh. the same channel. Probably. I think it would be very simple to just have your Philly on live Twitch, your Philly on channel, then Philly on clips or shorts, you know whatever the fuck you want to call it. I wish you know, as YouTubers, whatever you want to call us, they would just send out an email every month. Hey, this is what we're doing yeah. to the algorithm. Here are the changes. <laughs> Stop doing long shit. Yep. Focus on short shit. That oh, would, thanks, YouTube. That would save a lot of, I don't know. A lot what? of, uh, a lot of time, energy, and vibes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna figure it out, though. And when you do, when you crack that Da Vinci's code, I'm gonna be there like, yeah, Phil, you did it, man. <laughs> it's gonna be sick, bruh. Bruh. It's gonna be absolutely How's, sick. I've, I've been watching the Bowser Fury. Oh, dude, dude, great fucking game. I beat it in like three and a half hours. I was asking uh, people on Twitter. I was like, yo, uh, do you guys want me to just play the whole game tonight? And they were all like, it was like 90% of people said yes. So I was like, fuck it. And I actually, I briefly searched like the full gameplay of it. And I saw that it was around like four to five hours, something like that. Some of them were like two and a half. Some of them were a little bit longer. So I'm like, I don't even know how long it's going to take me, but let's go for it. It was like three and a half hours and it was a great experience. Really fun game. So that's part of Mario World 3D. So 3D World, when you open up the software, 3D World's on the left, and then if you swipe to the right, then it's Bowser's Fury. So they're like, the, I think they're the same game mechanics. They're a little, they're obviously different games, right. but they're the same like engine or whatever. I've never played 3D World like fully, so, so I gotta happens? play that. Bowser just goes on trend and then starts. Bro, Bowser goes on trend and he gets like all this ink and he just like fucking inks up the islands and you have to get these cat shines because it's all like cat themed based Why? on the cat power up. There's a cat power up in 3D World where like Mario turns into a cat. Interesting. And he has like climbing capability and he goes meow meow and he hits people with his paws. It's fucking sick. And then Bowser Jr.'s like, you gotta help my dad. He's gone crazy. But you know, my dad's still really tough. It's a really cute story. I've been playing Dead Space 3. Never heard of that. You and these obscure titles. I'm sure that's like Dude, the biggest game Dead ever. I'm Space sorry. Was probably, I don't know. I'm a Nintendo guy. It was like the king of horror on Xbox. Mm. I mean, it's an old game. Basically, you're a spaceman okay. on a ship. And there's like big ass fucking zombies trying to kill you. And it's super scary. Are they alien zombies? I don't even know, dude. Dude. But I, gotta, I gotta play this I was with playing you. with my friend Matt, so we were... Shout out, Matt. It's, it's literally like you're in the ship, and it's like pitch black, and then you turn a corner, and a fucking big-ass zombie's oh, ready to Oh, it's like jump you. scares and oh, shit? Yeah. I can't oh, fuck with yeah. that. People want me to play, like, horror games. I think I'm gonna start, like, playing some Five Nights at Freddy's and you should. stuff like that. I feel dude, like that's Dead by content. Daylight gives me so much anxiety. I just can't even sleep when I watch scary shit. 
I'll always find myself sometimes on the obscure side of horror YouTube, like I'm watching movie clips that just freak me the fuck out. I'm just holding my phone, but I'm like ready to swipe away at any point because I'm just stressed. I watched a creepy ass movie. What was that? Good night, mommy. That just sounds awful. Here's the premise. <laughs> Good night, mommy. Here's the premise. Oh God. It takes place in Austria. Should I close my eyes for this? Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. Two identical twins have a mother. The mother goes to get plastic surgery and comes home with a completely bandaged mummy face. Oh my God. And the kids are convinced that that's not their mom that came home from the surgery. Oh, I don't like this. It's like an imposter. I want to open my eyes. But there are so many twists and turns. Ugh. Bro. Is there a scene in the movie where they go, good night, mommy. And the mom just fucking stabs the kids. You see, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, don't spoil it. Go watch. I'm never going to watch this shit, but definitely go check out Good Night, Mommy. What's your favorite horror movie of all time? Psychological horror, The Witch. Okay. Actual horror, Martyrs. Wow, I've never heard of it. I think I've heard of Martyrs, maybe. I, I always hear like The Hills Have Eyes. Never watched Conjuring. It. Yeah. Isn't the original Paranormal Activity really scary too? Paranormal shit doesn't freak me out. Is it just because you're like a ghost killer? Like ghosts aren't real. You like know if a I mean? ghost pulled up, you would just haymaker that motherfucker, right? Yeah, like yeah. Luigi with his fucking vacuum. Yeah, and just suck it up to the, <laughs> to the vacuum. <laughs> that great, that game is great too. I know. Luigi's Mansion. I couldn't beat it past a certain point, so I gave up. But it was really, really fucking good. Um, speaking of space shit, when you brought up that first uh, game, Elon was on your best friend's podcast recently. Dude, Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan, dude. Dude, Joe I Rogan. I fucking love Joe Rogan, dude. <laughs> he's going to come on. He's, he, dude, he's going to be a guest next week. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be sick. Um, so they were talking about how um, we're essentially going to be able to like just space travel in like three years. Get the fuck out of here. Like go up into space and like come back down with Elon's new rocket or whatever the fuck. And then apparently like in our lifetimes, he wants to be able to like fly to fucking Mars and colonize that bitch. Listen, I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. But not in three years. I don't think the everything, going to Mars in three years, but everything. I do think we can go into space in three years. No, we cannot. Bro, I'm telling you, there's, he's going to be like, all right, who His wants to come on the spaceship? His rocket just exploded. I think they're supposed to though. <laughs> no, that's what he said. He said when you're testing the limits of how far things can go with space travel, you need to push it to the absolute limit so you expect it to blow up. It kind of makes sense. Okay. It's like, yo, we really were at the bleeding edge of tech. We got to keep pushing just to know what we can't do. Gotcha. So these fucking rockets, dude. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not a scientist, and I briefly listened to this while I was chewing McDonald's yesterday, but the rockets go, Beep. prepare for landing. Beep. So they just go up and down. Yeah, dude. What? What I don't understand is like when it gets into space, is there also like a rocket on the top that'll push that bitch back down? It has to be, right? There has to be it some sort like, of mechanic to push it back down. Yeah, because it can't like turn around. Come down, then flip back over, and then listen. Like, maybe? All I'm saying is, know. I'm not volunteering to be one of the fucking test subjects to go to outer space. Second of all, I don't, I don't even think I want to go to outer space. How do we know that that doesn't just like fuck you up? I was thinking about that the other day. It's like, yo, you go into space, right? Like we we know a good amount about space, but how do you not know? Like when our human bodies are in space, in the vacuum of space, when you get back to Earth, you're gonna have underlying problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we know? Uh, we have like cell phones and fucking microphones and computers surrounding us every day. We don't even know what this shit is doing to us. You tell me you want to go up there, bro, to the vacuum of space, bro. Well, it's probably healthier because there's nothing up there. Imagine, imagine that's that's the key to like living forever, just staying in space, mm -hmm. bro. I'll be an astronaut one day. It's gonna be a, a, a hard life, but it's gonna be the life that I choose. You know, I feel like Elon just says shit right and gets so so many people hyped up about it. But doesn't deliver for 38 years. <laughs> you know, I noticed a lot. It's, it's just funny you say that. We're going to have the fastest cars in the world. <laughs> the Point nine stare. zero to 60. I notice a lot when he's on Joe Rogan, Joe will just ask questions about like when he thinks things will happen. And Elon like always has like an estimated date. But you're right. It's like the Roadster was supposed to come out that really fast supercar. Cybertruck's supposed to be out. Yeah. Cybertruck didn't come out yet. But listen, the guy's doing a million the things. The fucking Cyber Quad. Did you see that thing that they... No. <laughs> cyber quad? It, it, in the cyber truck demo, a little boy on the back fucking puts down the bed oh, and goes, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like the, it's like a four wheeler. The Tron quad. <laughs> the trend quad. Yeah. It's for all the people on trend trend was it trend below? Trend Trend Balone. Trend Balone. 
and albuterol. I is like trenbuterol better. It does sound like it, it sounds so much better, right? Yeah. Well, we take albuterol for our uh, our asthma, which mm. is technically a steroid. I haven't taken that. I take it like every once in a while when I'm feeling a little <laughs> shortness of breath. <laughs> But yeah, I think everything he's planning is going to eventually happen. It's just sometimes I feel like the timetable isn't exactly accurate, you know? Which, how could it be? This this dude's doing a car company, a solar company, a fucking outer space adventure company. And he says he still gets six hours a night. I'm not even getting six <laughs> hours of sleep a night. How the fuck is that yeah, possible? I don't know, dude. Like, yeah, you know, six hours. I don't really find myself <laughs> needing more than six. Six is like the optimal amount. Six is need. optimal. That's all I really need. And then I just go run eight companies. <laughs> That was a good impression. That was all right. It was decent. I feel like I can do better. Um, I'm streaming. I'm pretty sure I'm streaming a game tonight. You have to just peek in for a little bit because it's fucking hilarious. Someone made a mod. I really hope that I did this yesterday because if I didn't, you guys get the behind the scenes of what I'm planning on doing soon. Someone made a mod. Type in Mario 64 first person shooter. They gave Mario a gun and turned Mario 64 into like a shooting game essentially where he can like ble- yeah that right there bro bro I'm gonna stream this tonight and make a highlight video with Brooks I'm so excited bro bro this has viral potential I know someone someone the person that uploaded it um is this the original uploader scroll down a little bit alpha red I, I don't know if that's the original uploader but the guy that made the game He's yeah look shoot at this the penguin? Bro, bro first of all look how beautiful it looks it does look right? pretty clean yeah Mix Morris gotcha. he made it so like the beginning apparently has this really funny skit, and like He's literally got a shotgun. Yeah, dude, you can like change guns. <laughs> dude, imagine like I don't want to see a lot of it. I just briefly got the understanding of like what this is, so I'm gonna stream it hopefully tonight, and uh, I'm excited to see. That's yeah, I, I, I don't want to keep looking. I want to be surprised. But are you out of your goddamn mind with this desktop? Yeah, this is what my desktop looks like Yo, after I make a video. Clean this up. I my, just made a video, my uh, guy. You know what? Mine kind of looks like that too. I'm not even going to lie to you. Well, I mean, Especially all I have to do is daily just shorts. all this and then delete. You know you could like organize it like instantly by doing a uh, double click, right? Like if you go to clean up by and then you could sort by type or date modified and put it all in like stacks for you. Yeah, but I mean it's all going in the trash anyway. Damn, you're just going to delete it all? Yeah, dude. Dude, I love how you just have like icons like in the left corner, not even accessible. It's because when I'm editing... And I download a picture. You just grab it off the desktop, drop it in. Exactly. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. the The new Max with that A one chip. I know we like joke around about Apple a lot. This fucking thing can handle editing better than my iMac Pro. That chip is fucking ridiculous. Really? It's crazy. Yeah. And so it's, I have to go spend another four grand on a new laptop. Do you ever? I mean, if it if this works, don't. Is it, do you ever get like laggy footage at all, or like does the program like um you know? stutter a little bit when you have a lot of shit going on in the timeline i mean i spilled tea on my mac so oh nice <laughs> i need to fix it anyway what happened what's wrong with the keyboard press like my space up? bar oh dear god <gasps> phil no there's no click exactly that's got honey it's mad mushy dude that's got honey all underneath <laughs> dude i, the I fucking piece. popped it open tried to clean it put it back on nothing Do you have apple care yep you're good all right no apple care is great they'll probably be like all right it's a hundred bucks and they just give you a brand new computer i hope <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm a little lost, but fair Dude, enough. Dude, did you see the woman that got Gorilla Glue in her hair? I was just going to ask you about that because I saw your tweet that was like, so is that how I have to get verified? I'll put Gorilla Glue in my hair? She got verified on fucking Instagram. So was, what is, I don't even know the story at all because I wanted to ask you, was this an accident that she want to put? This was on purpose. She just put okay. Gorilla so Glue in her this hair. This woman ran out of hairspray okay. and thought that Gorilla Glue would be a good substitute for hairspray. So she fucking gorilla glued her head and it vacuum sealed her scalp. I'm not supposed to laugh, right? You can laugh. No, that, that's dumb. <laughs> Bro, I feel bad for have, laughing. Have but yeah, you that's, seen the video? No, dude. I know she, she had to get surgery, right? Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, bless her soul, man. She thought I was just going to like keep her hair in place. Yep. Bro, can you imagine the pain? Can you imagine the fucking pain, Phil? It's sad, but, like, also, like, she's a 40-year-old woman, man. Gorilla glue? Gorilla glue. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not in the hairspray you're section. Supposed to, you're supposed to use that for, like, actual, like, <laughs> construction. <laughs> Probably they sell it at Home Depot and Ace Hardware. <laughs> and it says, <laughs> it fucking says, don't put in eyes, skin, ears, but it doesn't say hair. And 
Oh bro, my god, bro, bro! She might be suing Gorilla Glue. I was just that was my next thought. Like, are they gonna have Which to put now? Like, fuck! Don't up. apply to hair. Don't put on clothing. It's not don't a fucking beauty product. She's okay though, right? Yeah. Okay, so she's fine. So we could fucking bro. She got a GoFundMe. She got over twenty it. grand. She got her surgery for free. Which is nice. Yeah. But now she's got a sack of 20 G's and she's suing Gorilla Glue. I, I'm just so dumbfounded by the, the listen, act listen, of putting listen. fucking glue in your hair. Listen, this Bro. is this is coming from a guy that ate a raw shish kebab, a whole fucking raw That's chicken shish kebab dude. and That's didn't know different. that it wasn't cooked. So That's different. sometimes humans do dumb shit, you know? Oh, but there's, there's gorilla, levels. That's literally like me going to my dad's shed, grabbing a saw <laughs> and just chopping my arm off. Like, what the f- No, don't then, put the saw in your body. And then suing the saw company yeah. for su- not having a warning label. Yeah. Don't chop off your own limbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. Bro, this is what pisses me off, though. Society, social media, rewards fucking stupidity. Because now she's verified on Instagram. She's <sighs> a celebrity. She just made a fat stack of money, and she got the surgery for free. But here's the next question. Well, she'll be able to keep the longevity. Doesn't even fucking well, well, matter. Well, now- Maybe she's a genius. Maybe this was all her plan. Maybe to become an influencer, she had to sacrifice her hair. I wouldn't put it past her, dude. Dude, we'll see. We'll, we'll I'll updates. fucking gorilla glue my head. Don't, do it. It. <laughs> don't, don't ruin the locks. How did they? Well, first of all, by the way, the surgery aspect of it. What exactly did they do? They just like acetone to get the the glue out of her skin. Like it wanted to like go into her scalp. Bro, look, look at this video. So this is her. No, it's not a choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be glue spray. You know, just got to be glued is good shit. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glued. So she shampoos her head. Watch this. Wait, that's the glue? Stop it. No, that's the shampoo. Oh my god, I thought that was the fuck. That's how much she put on, though? No, she's she's tra- she's demonstrating right now that nothing she does to her head will get it out. We'll get, that's her oh. hair, dude. <gasps> Oh my god. It's shinier god. than a bowling ball, my guy. She looks like an amiibo like, in the me. <sighs> and then she How scratches long do you think till she went to the what do you even where do you go for that? Imagine walking into the fucking urgent care. <laughs> You're just like, hey, I put gorilla glue Bro. on my scalp. Bro. I mean I I guess in theory it, it makes works. sense. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> What is this show? What are we even talking about anymore? Bro, let's see if she hit a million followers. <laughs> I can't take it, man. What the fuck is this year? This year is already more wacky than last year, man. She has 808,000 followers, and she has a blue check mark next to her name. What's her username? I'm underscore D underscore Oladi. She should change it to like Gorilla Glue Girl or something. Yeah. Triple G. Just fucking Gorilla Glue. <laughs> <laughs> At Gorilla Glue. <laughs> and Gorilla Glue came out with like a statement. They're like, yeah, this is a tragedy. I'm sorry this happened to you, but we're not a hair product. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm at a loss. I'm going to be honest with you. Bottom line, thank God she's okay. Oh my. I wonder what like the worst case scenario could have been though. You know what I mean? Like, could could it have killed her? I don't know, dude. Like, if it seeped into her fucking <laughs> scores or something? All right, moving on. Uh, I've been having really bad neck pain. Why? I, I think I figured out what it is. So, I, you know, I'm 25. In right. case you guys didn't know, I'm 20. I know I look like I'm fucking 48, but I'm 25. I've been editing my shorts in my bed right. on, my, on my laptop. And this is, <laughs> this is my positioning while I'm editing. So I'm sitting, you know, in my bed. My legs are straight like this. And I'm like this. Hunchback, of, Hunchback Notre Dame. of Notre Dame. So I think the problem is I've been doing that for like what a month straight now, and my neck. I notice while I'm streaming, I'm like, I can't even fucking keep Posture my head up. Check. Posture, yeah, bad. My neck's been cracking Just and have shit. Your chat remind you to fix your posture. I think I have to get one of those neck pillows for I'm editing in my bed, so I can just sit against the headboard and. What's gonna happen is your neck is gonna get so used to that pillow, your muscles in your neck are gonna start atrophying, and then you're gonna. So you're saying this is just training me to have a, a, a fucking big ass neck. I'm like a cobra. I'm saying if you use a pillow all the time for your neck. Yeah. Your neck is going to learn to not. No, no, I get that. But if I'm not. I'm exaggerating. If I'm That's not, not using, how it works. If I'm but... not using the pillow, 
yeah. it should, in theory, then get stronger. Just fix your posture. What I could do is go get some Gorilla Glue and just fucking yeah. <laughs> Gorilla Glue that shit straight up. Yeah. So I can't turn it at all, but at least it will stay firm right. and up. And then Gorilla Glue will have to put out a statement, we are not a neck brace. <laughs> What Holy the shit. Fuck? <laughs> I can't I still can't even believe that, man. Oh god. Holy shit. So yeah. Shorts have been going well. I started uh watching WandaVision. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen uh my Instagram stories. Your tweets about it. Oh, WandaVision's the best show ever. Bro. It's... Uh, tweet at me if you look like Wanda. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was a naysayer. I was like, listen, I, I love Marvel. I just I was never really into Wanda and Vision. Like their characters are cool, but I don't really get Who's the hype. Wanda? Uh Scarlet Witch. Who oh. literally I, I won't spoil anything on the show. I'm just gonna say this. She is so much stronger. Than like anyone thought, I guess. Well, everyone knew from the comics that she was strong as shit, but like, bro, she's OP, dude. She needs to be nerfed. She needs dude. a nerf. It's crazy. Like in the show, she's doing shit, and you're like, yo, she could have did that in the movies. <laughs> what? Where were you at when Thanos was clapping everybody's yeah, she, cheek? She apparently was gonna kill. Not apparently. She was about to kill Thanos, and then Thanos was like, open fire, and then the fucking ship started blasting everybody. Mm. But well, that movie sucks, so I don't really get. Well, the hype. you have no taste, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> But yeah, so I was, my, my whole thing was like, yo, I want to find, you know, someone that can cosplay as Scarlet Witch before Valentine's Day. So I put out a call to action. Right. I said, if you look like this, please DM me. And you got a DM, didn't you? Uh, I've gotten a couple DMs. Listen, if I have a date for Valentine's Day and we're dressed up as Vision and Scarlet Witch, you know, it was successful. <laughs> so stay tuned for updates. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a great weekend. Um, I have a really good Vinny's iPod this week. Let's hear it. So I found this song again on TikTok because I'm just obsessed with TikTok and it's sure. fucking amazing. I love you always. Have you ever heard this? I love you always, forever, near mm -hmm. and far. Yeah, Close of to get. Fantastic. And it's great for Valentine's Day. So that's a great one. Uh, soon may the Wellerman come. Some sea shanty music for your film. <laughs> Is that what you've been texting me? Yeah. Soon may. Come and drink a sugar and tea and rum. I just want to go on a sailboat and why? fucking be a pirate. Yarg. This is also why I hate TikTok. They just make the most random shit popular. No, sea shanties have been lit, dude. They've been lit for years. I, I just want a rapper to come out and make like a sea shanty. Oh, it's going to happen. Maybe Everett, Everett, Everett will start doing some yeah. sea shanty shit. Uh, and then I got Joker and the Thief by Wolf Mother. Joker and the Thief in the night. Yeah. That's like the best song that I think about when I want to like... If, if you're ever like at a casino and he's like, let's play some blackjack in the movie. And then that song kicks on. Oh my God. It's amazing. I want to go to a casino. I miss casinos. Have you ever been on like vacations? Yeah. I've never been. It's fun, man. I've walked through them, you know, free alcohol the whole time. there Cause they just want you to get shit house. Are you serious? Yeah. And most of them, I don't know if that's still a thing, but I'm pretty sure in most casinos, they just keep just open bar. Yep. Dude. It makes sense if you think about it. Cause yeah, they have to pay, for the liquor, but like one person can only have the capacity to drink so much. And the drunker you get, the more you're like, you know what? I want to fucking hit, yep. hit, <laughs> fucking hit, sir. This is not hit, yep. fucking hit. And then, you know, you just give the house all your money. Yeah. It smells like dirty asshole and, and cigarettes <laughs> and more dirty asshole Yeah, and cigarettes. But I love the vibe though. <laughs> I really do. It's just fun. You know, all the pretty colors, pull the fucking, <laughs> it's fucking sick. Cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. Yeah, dude. And there's always the old lady that's just fucking sitting there. She's putting all her quarters in the machine. She wins 900000 Yep. It's fucking... You see David Dobrik's new house? Dude, that shit's crazy. Hawaiian punch water fountain? <laughs> Madness. <sighs> What's your take? I feel like you don't... I don't know if it's fair to say you don't like David Dobrik. You're He's not David Dobrik. He's been getting exposed recently. Has he? Yeah. For what? What do you well, do? H, you know, Ethan from yeah. H3H3. He's been doing like a deep dive on David oh, Dobrik. Dear God. Because frenemies, he's with Trisha Paytas. Are they so actually friends? Like, yeah. what's the story with that? Bro, They're Trisha, friends, right? Trisha Paytas, her boyfriend, or if not fiance. Was the older guy. What was his name? No, no, no. Wasn't she dating one of Jason the guys? In, yeah, in the vlog squad, right? Yeah. yeah. But now, it's Ela's brother. Wait, wait, wait. She's dating Ela's brother? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're engaged. Holy shit, what? So Ethan and Trisha are literally... What? <laughs> How the hell did I not know this? That's yeah, crazy. Dude. Holy shit, how the hell did that happen? So they, they've they been spilling the tea. Damn. So like, do we know what the tea is? Like, what, what did he... What happened? David Dobrik's house is just like a big frat house. Drugs. Oh, jeez. Racism. Oof. Um, I mean, there's clips of like him doing like fucked up shit. 
it's always the people that are just like so happy and so friendly that just i mean but like you could shady. see that from a mile away dude i didn't i i had no i just seemed like a nice guy that liked to laugh a lot he, okay and Trish, is this is this like confirmed shit or is this just like allegation this is type Pater. stuff oh, i she, mean she's i've selling? watched the clips of the racism i could pull oh, it really? off yeah i'd rather not <laughs> yeah fuck that but trisha said that he would be recording like a vlog and then if people didn't laugh enough he'd do a retake <laughs> All right, one more time from the top. Just act more fucking surprised. Energy! Yeah. We need more. <laughs> God. Dude, Meat Canyon has a David Dobrik one where he like kind of pokes fun at like the giveaways and shit. Mm -hmm. And he's like, every time people think of you, <laughs> they really think of me. <laughs> Basically saying that like Holy shit. you're famous for being my friend. Oh, geez. It's pretty nuts. I mean, listen, he's got a really cool water fountain. That has Hawaiian punch in it. Yeah, there you go, dude. I want that from my house. Speaking of my house, my appliances came in. My uh, my washer came in. My uh, refrigerator, which, yo, you gotta come see the fridge, dude. Sick. Got this really cool, like, futuristic fridge. Got, is like, it gonna make doors. noises, like, when we record the podcast? No, this one's upstairs. We're golden. Why does this one sound like a fucking Toyota Camry trying to take it, off? Bro, <laughs> this thing sounds like Elon Musk's new yeah. rocket, bro. <laughs> the problem is this thing's from, like, the fucking 80s or some shit. Mm. This thing's been down here forever. Are you gonna get a Hawaiian punch water fountain? I might have to. In the podcast room, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all the appliances came in. They got delivered yesterday. This is why... Part of the reason why I feel like absolute death today is because my sleep schedule is so fucked. Um, I had to go to the house and wait for the company to deliver all the shit. Right. While my uh, my dad was at work. So I was just like standing there not knowing when the stuff was going to get delivered. Like they give you a window like 45 minutes out. But, you know, things aren't really accurate. So I'm just kind of like standing there waiting. I brought like a fucking I brought a chair that I could sit on while I'm just and I was scripting my video during that. But I didn't sleep the night before because mm. I had to be there at like 7 a.m. Because you know me, I don't wake so up early. you just stayed up? I just stayed up. Bro. And then when I got home, I had my video scripted. I slept for a little bit. I basically took like a day nap. Right. And then woke up, filmed my video, went live. Grind don't stop, baby. You know Shit, when the grind dude. will stop? When my ass is dead. Every, 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 every. I'm asleep when I'm dead, yo. I'm asleep when I'm dead. Sleep is the cousin of death. It really is. Yeah. That's all I have to say on the matter. That's it. Welcome. Thank you for watching Sunday Sauce. <laughs> I mean, I had nightmares last night. Did you? Yeah. I'll talk about it. What the fuck happened in my nightmare? I was in an aquarium. Oh, Jesus. There was thousands of people around there me. there crabs, Phil? Your no. biggest fear? There were no crabs. Mm. That's all I remember. <laughs> Wait, that, that was the big bad nightmare? They weren't just like regular fish, though. Like, these were some diesel-ass fish. They were on trend? Yeah. Swimming around with their I jack also remember fins? I was, <laughs> I was in Spanish class. Ooh. And I was just getting, like, ridiculed by everyone. Because, like, I was trying to speak Spanish and it wasn't happening. Dude, I I hated those moments in school when you would have to, like, present and you had no fucking idea what it was about. And you were standing in front of... I used to bug out at presentations. I feel like no one would think that, like, me of all people would get nervous to, like, talk in front of people. Right. If I didn't know the situation, if I didn't know <laughs> what I was talking about, dude, I would get up there and be like... Okay, I would I would always start with how about the weather, huh? <laughs> Just Dude, to like ice, get everything nice and there was and this chill. kid that was not prepared for his presentation because he thought that he was going on a different day, and the teacher was like, "No, you're presenting today." So he went up and gave a. Damn good presentation yeah, with nothing. And the it. teacher was just like biting her lip like, what the fuck? I tried to get him, but he was too <laughs> swift. Dude, all off the top of his fucking head. Yeah, that was my thing too. Like, I would be nervous as shit the entire class. After like 30 seconds of being up there, I would kill it. But the, my biggest thing, and every fucking person that's been through school can relate to this shit. It's when you're doing a presentation in class and you try to figure out in your head, okay, what's better for me to raise my hand and volunteer next and get it over with, or just hope I don't get selected till the next class. Mm. And then God forbid you get picked last and the fucking bell rings during your fucking presentation. And then they're like, oh, you'll finish tomorrow. And then you gotta do both days. Oh. <clears throat> Horrible. Horrible, dude. What was your go-to? Were you just like, let me get it done ASAP? Yeah. yeah, I was more of like the let me blend into the shadows. and Because if you go first, you know. Then you have no anxiety the rest of the presentations. You're not being compared to anyone. You're yeah. only being compared to like the person after you. <laughs> But at that point, the people's attention spans are fucking gone. Yeah. So the best though is like when you go up there and your best friends in the fucking in the class and they're just laughing at you the whole time. <laughs> uh, my presentation is on the winery. 
in Pennsylvania, and you, your best friend's just like, <laughs> and you just do one of those, like, yep. try not to laugh while you're presenting. I saw so many TikToks and, like, viral clips. Do you know what pissed me off about TikToks, too? Oh, here we go. What, here we what go. else, Phil? Here we go. <laughs> Buckle up, folks. We're going to space. Someone will make a joke, and there's no way of knowing who the original joke maker that is. That is tricky. Well, that's the whole culture on TikTok. It's like- You just gotta copy everyone There every are one trends, else. and then you copy the trends, essentially. Stress me out. I, you're you're not happy about this. I understand. You should write a book called "Shit I Hate" and just write. It won't even be like a novel. Just write down bullet points. Fucking stealing on TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Uh, Twitch not verifying me. <laughs> Fucking uh, Gorilla Glue Girl gets verified before yep. me. Just all this shit Bullshit. that sets you off and have it at like size eighteen font, bullet point bold, italicized. I'd buy that shit. New York Times bestseller. That's a good idea. You could be the next Hey Big Mike with a. A best-selling fucking author. The Fifth over here. Vital, dude. Yeah. Apparently, that book's really good. I don't read, but I do like having books read to me. <laughs> we'll oh yeah. We'll talk about that another okay. day. <laughs> Phil, I'm a silly goose. Today. Maybe I'll read that book. Yeah. And then make a commentary video on it. Imagine you read. I feel like you'd actually read it, and you'd be like, "This was actually very good. Good on you, hey big Mike." <laughs> dude, remember when we used to hang out, with Mike? Dude, at the strip clubs. Good times. Yeah, dude. <laughs> really good times. That was sick. I had another thought today, like right before we started recording, because my fucking Mac, every time we're about to record the podcast, goes, would you like to update this garage band? Like all this shit. It's always, always asking me if I want to update or download <laughs> shit. Right. And I never fucking do. Like I'm the type of computer user or phone user. If my shit's working, I don't upgrade. I wait till there's like five upgrades later and then I'm like, okay, now it's time type mm -hmm. of thing. But they don't fucking stop. Remind me later? Yeah. Remind you later? I'll do it when you're sleeping. And they don't specify when later is, so it'll be in the middle of a stream. It'll pop up on my fucking you know gameplay. The, I'll do it while you're sleeping on the phone. Mm, it did be, that to me one day, and I woke up, and in. it was like, hello, and I'm like, yo, I didn't reset my phone. Yeah, it's weird. In theory, though, it actually makes a lot of sense, because obviously you're not using your phone while you're asleep, so that would be the most optimal time for an update mm. over the air. I remember you used to have to plug your iPhone into iTunes. Remember those days, guys? <laughs> Dude, iTunes now it's all over the air. as an app. The music app now, you mean? Or like iTunes in like general? on my computer. It's so boomer, dude. I haven't used it in a while because I use Spotify now. Exactly, but, that's what I'm saying. But iTunes used to be the shit, man. I didn't like it. Oh, man. Remember the days of like, you'd log on to AIM and you'd hear the... And the door yep. would open, and then all your fucking homies would be on. And you just play like, log into MySpace and Facebook. Yeah, dude. I remember my MySpace. I I was able to change the HTML so it would rain money symbols oh, when you'd get to my Vinny page. Vinny Cash, baby. Vinny Cash, baby. Vinny Cash before Vinny Cash was invented. <laughs> before that nickname. Did I ever tell the people how I got that nickname in high school? That was actually my nickname in high school. Like I no. always joke that. Yeah, they used to call me Red Coca Cola Cup Vinny. No, they didn't. It's a joke, you know? But right. Vinny Cash, we were at Wendy's one night, and my uh, I was working at the pizzeria, so I always had, like, I had cash on me, because I was, like, the only one working in the seventh grade, or whatever the fuck it was, sixth grade. And my friend's brother was like, yo, uh, Vin, I, I kind of want these nuggets. Do you have any spare cash? And I was like, yeah, dude, I got you. And I bought him his nuggets. He goes, Vinny Vin Cash. Vinny Cash. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it just kind of stuck. Kids always got cash Kids on always him. got cash for the nuggets. This fucking guy, Vinny Cash. Hey, fresh garole bleeding out time, his pockets. At the fucking time, like, my friend's brother was, I think he was like a junior or a senior in high school, so he was like the shit. Right. So to get a nickname from an upperclassman like that, I was like, fucking Vinny Cash. It's hitting the, the whip before the whip was invented. Remember the song, well, Let Me Hop Out the Motherfucking Porsche? Yeah. Remember that dance? The that was the shit in high school. First, let me hop. What out year did the that come out? Fucking Porsche. I can tell you based on my weight in a video that I danced in it. It was. It had to have been junior year, my junior year. So I'm gonna say 2013. It came out, dude. What's it? Whatever happened to T Wayne? <laughs> was, I, was I right? Was uh, it 2013? Click that. Five years ago, dude. So what's five? 2016. Minutes? No fucking shot. Yeah, dude. No shot. Yeah, dude. I was in college. <laughs> This what? man was doing TikTok dances in college. Bro, I was fucking tearing it up at Adelphi, dude. Whatever happened to this man? He probably still puts out music. Got more fucking subs than both of us combined, dude. Oh, God, another thing in the book. I'm mad that T. Wayne is more successful. <laughs> <laughs> Phil! Nah, he's chilling, dude. Oh, God. He streams, apparently. Does he really? I should rate him. I don't know what this is. <laughs> dude, everyone's... 
I feel like everyone's going to be a streamer at one point. Bro, Odell Beckham was streaming. He does stream, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah. pretty frequently on Twitch, right? I feel like everyone is going to be a streamer one day. Can you fucking imagine? Hey, yo, Original 151, thanks for the raid from Odell Beckham Jr. I got raided by Best Nest the other night. Who's that? He's, like, one of the best Smash players. That's sick. Is he, is he a fan of yours? No, I think he was just like, all right, guys, good night. Let's raid this random person on the page. <laughs> That's dope. By the way, the, the strat to go live on your YouTube and then uh, migrate the geese over to Twitch, A1. I know, dude. Very, very good. You had like fucking 400 concurrence in that Twitch stream, right? Three. 300? That's solid. That's that's great fucking... For whatever reason, whenever I go live on Twitch, the people on YouTube don't want to come over. It It's it's this weird thing where like people like the platform that they like right. and they're very... Um, they, they're very, it's very hard to get people to want to flock over unless they, A, are a huge fan of you, or B, they just really like the other platform. Mm. Because if, if, if that logic wasn't true, we would have, you know, you would have f almost 500,000 on Instagram, 500,000 yeah. on Twitter, 500,000 on Twitch. Like, everyone would just go everywhere. People don't do that. They're like, okay, I'm subbed to him on YouTube. He's going to Twitch. Have a good day, guys. You know, but a lot of people do like to come over. And the more you do it, the more people will want to come over. So, that's You know what I awesome. haven't tapped into? Let's hear it. What's this untapped market? I don't get how people get Twitter followers. <laughs> Twitter? How Twi the fuck do you grow on Twitter? I actually think Twitter is easier to grow than Instagram, Instagram because really? on Twitter you can put out a tweet, have someone retweet it that has a huge audience, and then those people can check you out and be like, uh -huh. oh, he's a content creator, you You're know? Right. You just got to do like... <sighs> See, I just tweet about everything, but, you know, if I come up with an idea that I know will get a lot of retweets, like, you know... Maybe that should be your approach. Just like think about things that people will really resonate with. <laughs> that could be part of your book. It's part of Just my book. Just putting too. out tweets about shit that you really hate, you know? And by the way, I can't connect to the internet for some reason, so I don't know how I'm going to grab a grandmother of the week. I'm going to try attempt number two. Bro, my internet has, have you just been getting like internet outages where you live? No. Bro, randomly at like three in the morning, and if you guys know what the fuck this is, please let me know. My my internet will just go out for like thirty six minutes, <laughs> and then turn back on. It's the most fucking You're annoying thing, yo. dude. This, it's the most annoying fucking thing ever. I just have to sit there waiting, like, okay, when the fuck is this shit gonna turn on? I'm in, baby. I'm in. All right. In the meantime, anything else you want to cover before we wrap it up? Because I'm gonna look for a grandmother of the week. We got snow. Again, I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> I was gonna ask, how's your fucking back? Did you have to shovel like nine houses again? The fact that my... Oh, this is cool. We got an update. I'm gonna read this one. Remember Rory? Rory Caracciolo? Yeah. Same name as me? Yeah. He actually just forgot to send the description. Oh. So I'm gonna read his description when we're ready to read the grandmother of the week uh, for Rory. Shout out Rory. He gets redemption, you know? Yeah. Because we talked about his grandmother. Now, well, we didn't talk about her. We put her... Did we put a picture of her on the screen? I think we did. That's what it was. Did. It was just a picture. Um, but yeah, dude, the snow was just like... The last time that it snowed on the Super Bowl was... Oh, actually, it snowed again on, what, Tuesday? It snowed again during the week, but the, the time that it snowed on the Super Bowl was easy because it was just like light, light fluff. It was like marshmallows. Yeah. You would touch no, it. No, the was... opposite of marshmallows. It was very soft. Yeah. Yeah. Well, marshmallows are soft, but they're like really squishy. Bro, that other storm... It was that like, was horrible. It fucking snowed dumbbells. <laughs> Bro, my fucking back. And like to get the ice off of the fucking bricks, you had to like get one of those shovels with the steel on the yep. end of it and just pick <laughs> at it. <laughs> yeah, it was a fucking nightmare. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm streaming. I, I'm used to I'm used to recording this at like four, so I just looked at the time. It's only three thirty five. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's early. So I have all this free time. I'm gonna work out. I'm telling you, I have to get back on track. I'm dude. so fat. It's disgusting. I don't feel good. You know, you know how I <laughs> know. I go up the stairs and I'm winded. No, I know. And you know how I know how like I'm getting out of shape again. You just, you literally just wake up not feeling good. When I was like shredding, when you're cutting, like you, you definitely feel more tired throughout the day because obviously you have like less calories, less energy. But you wake up feeling like ready to go. When you eat like shit the night before and you're like have a lot of salt content in you and you're just dehydrated. I wake up today. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, I literally texted you. I said, "Yo, come at two. I need an extra hour, right. dude." I woke up and felt like I was gonna die. <laughs> like it was bad. My eyes were fucking swollen shut. Yeah, I had to put a hot towel good, on my dude. forehead. I know. So it's time to it's time to get back on the horse. It's also depressing that I, I feel like I can't run because there's just snow everywhere and it's freezing. And it's dark by five. There's this guy I follow on TikTok, another TikTok user. He runs every day, no matter what, bro. This man was running in like three feet of snow. It was the craziest shit I've ever seen. Hmm. And it's just like so optimistically amazing. He's just like, get out there, get for, go for a run. 
and the beauty of it I'm all. I'm good. Like, I don't have the I'm, gear yeah, for I'm that, in my dude. bed watching this, like, <laughs> nah, I ain't running today. I think I'm going to jerk off again. <laughs> I think I'm going to jerk off That sounds good, chief. Meat. I'm going to slap the shit out of my dick. I just immediately thought of someone using Gorilla Glue to jerk their dick off, thinking it could be like a lubricant. And then you just get your hands stuck. Oh my god. That has to have happened to somebody, bro. Has Nobody's to have. Nobody's using Gorilla Glue on their meat. How do you know? We never thought someone would put it in as a hairstyling well, it product. it says don't get in contact with your skin. True. You're right. That saved everybody. That was good. But what if people can't read? Can you imagine going to the doctor and you're like, Doc. Doc. I can't get it off my fucking hand. <laughs> I, I heard this horror story of this like crazy ex-girlfriend like the guy cheated on her or something so maybe she's not that crazy but she crazy glued his dick <laughs> to his belly buttons <laughs> I mean if it fucking reached but Phil, like, that was me <laughs> <laughs> she, she, put my, she put my dick in my belly button the horror was excruciating that's gotta be a rough Tuesday <laughs> just wake up I think I have a bad shoveling my stoop this guy's got his dick in his belly button <laughs> That's a fucking oh. hog and a half, dude. Yeah, that's a fucking <laughs> that's a fucking sword from the fucking Zelda. Uh, that's Link's sword, bro. It's a great game, by the way. The yeah, yeah. Whenever people use Link on Smash Bros, I immediately get a little aggravated. It's it's just a cringy play style. I hate it. Think think boomerang, oh. boomerang, oh. little TikTok puss boy, man. Have you ever used Bowser? Yeah. We have to have a Bowser Bowser fight. I'll rock your Bowser. Dude. I'm telling you right now. Listen, I talk a lot of shit and I usually lose, but my Bowser's <laughs> getting pretty ferocious. I like him, but he's just not one of my favorite heavies. What is your problem with him? What's your main complaint? Mm, my main complaint. He doesn't have enough flair. So he's, he's just very like robotic. Basic. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's the thing. He's just brute strength. Yeah. Also. It's very taxing on his smash attacks because if you miss, you're just op open for shots. Yeah. He's easily juggled too. Bro, when you ground pound with him, he literally, you see him go and get back up. Like it takes a good two seconds yeah. for this man to regroup. But if he hits you. Oh yeah, break the shield, baby. You're going down. That's my favorite thing ever. Like I'll I'll bait people into using the uh, the shield because I'll keep doing the the down tilt where he goes in his shell uh, down smash. Yeah, he goes in a shell and they keep shielding it. And then finally I'll like go for the butt bounce attack, the ground pound. That one. And then you break the that fucking shield. That one's hard shield. to hit. Another good thing I've been doing. I actually might make this into a short because I did it like six times in one stream. You go to the edge when people are climbing back on and right when they go to get back on the arena, you do the ground pound, but you hold up. So he grabs the ledge. So he essentially spikes people down, grabs the ledge and pulls himself up. I know what you mean. It's crazy. It's really hard to time, but if you can time it, dude, it's it's basically an insta kill. Do you know what's also underutilized as Bowser? The fire? Yes. Yeah. Especially for me. I only use the fire like dude, once. That'll rack them up to like 40%. And they can't really, there's only, I think the only character that, well, there's a, probably a few characters I can get through it, but I know, I think Banjo with his, where he goes like side B mm -hmm. into you, I think that can go through the fire. Through it's the, the best fire. fucking fighting game. It's, dude, it will, it's been out since, what, 2018, 2019? It's still going strong. And all they have to do is update the characters. Yeah. Just add, add a new, new character every three months, every th six months. Oh, bam. We got to do the Sunday Sauce Smash. 100%. Yeah, we, we pretty much are confirming, I think. We're going to have a perk for the members that we're going to do um, Smash Bros on the channel, and you guys can come play with us. It's going to be fucking... Can we enable memberships now? We can once... We'll, we'll talk about that after the show, but we're, we can once that thing that I told you about, once that goes through, which is in any day now, so that's going to be awesome. But yeah, um, there's a really... There's a lot to read. Um, do you want to take it one paragraph at a time? Sure. Because I, I think I could do it. Actually. No, you got it. You got yeah, it. I can do this. Okay. So this is from Rory Caracciolo. We spoke on Rory's Nona uh, a couple episodes ago. And he wrote, yo, my guy, I'm sorry. I'm a bonehead. I had a little story about Grams and the family. I forgot to attach it to the pics of her. And long story short, when I came back to the email, I attached the pics and the story apparently wasn't saved. But what I meant to add was, yo, Vinny, I wanted to introduce you to your long lost grandma, Mary Jane Caracciolo. She's the funniest and sweetest lady you'll ever meet and has some of the craziest stories ranging from growing up working at her parents' movie theater to owning her own pet store and taking care of all of us who grew up uh, around her, from her seven kids to her nine grandkids. Let's just stop right there. Nine grandkids. That's a family tree. That's a family <laughs> forest, my guy. And 15 great-grandchildren. I should have kept going. Holy. 
yo, you guys are fucking like crazy in this family. <laughs> and now her you guys first, are fucking like you guys rabbits. Are fucking. And now her first great grandson, my two year old son. We were all lucky to have her. Uh, guiding us through this crazy thing we call life because she's seen it all and nothing shocks her anymore. God bless. And if you're wondering if we're actually related, I'll say uh, from why I've always been told since I was little that three Caracciolo brothers moved here from the motherland. One stayed in New York, one moved to Philly, and one moved to the West Coast Bro. and became a movie producer. Bro. <laughs> My little branch of the Caracciolo tree sprouts from the Philly stem. Assuming you guys are from the brother who stayed in New York and made us a, a real familia. And I love the content, man. It's crazy that I found you through the podcast. I've been a longtime follower of Phil. And in one of the episodes, you mentioned your last name. I thought, holy shit, uh, that's my cousin up there being famous. G. so congrats and <laughs> keep it up. Yo, this is amazing. You are related to that Can guy. Can you fucking imagine? I got to ask my dad if he knows about this stuff. I'll bring it up to my grandma and my grandpa. That would be fucking crazy. We're definitely paisans. That's for sure. I mean, isn't everyone kind of related? Dude, back to Pangea. We're definitely Paisans. We're definitely fucking Paisans. I guarantee you our great-great-grandparents, my great-great-great-great-grandpa Nunzio, dude. they were fucking picking tomatoes off the tree together, dude. Do you know what the number one tier is going to be? The Paisan. Oh, yes! <laughs> hey, Paisan! Yo, the number one tier. Hey, Paisan! That's fucking amazing, dude. Yo, I cannot wait for memberships. You know, you know what tier three is going to be? Let's hear it. Made man. Ooh, so we'll just go like mafia route? Yes. Yeah, dude. So what? Wait, what is? Let's look up rankings of uh, mafia. of mafia. I'm curious. Like, I, I'm like, what was Spider in? Uh, Spider was just a bartender, right? All right, let's hear it. What do we got? Boss, underboss, consigliere, dude. Oh, capos, <laughs> soldiers, soldiers, associates. associates. <laughs> Yo, dude, we need great. some consiglieries. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm in the consigliere tier for Sunday sauce. Forget dude. about it. Oh, this is good, dude. You no, know we have to do. We have to have the the top top the tier Godfather. and it's like a thousand dollars and they're they're invited at the table whenever they Bro. want and we just have to be extremely respectful yeah. let me kiss the ring yeah, please welcome to the, the show ring. godfather how we doing dude i'm writing this down dude yeah this is a lot well we're just recorded it so yeah. we can hear it all yeah, we got it, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right man anything else you want to cover we got I'm about just, four minutes to the hour mark so if there's anything else you want to shoot keep this about. rolling because yeah, like i'm it. so excited about our tears yeah it's gonna be awesome and I, I always talk about this on my channel. It's, you know, memberships on YouTube and subs on Twitch. It really is like the backbone of the operation. Mm. You know, people that are willing to support us and, and watch our show and fuck with us. It's just that's that's the real MVPs to all you guys out there that are thinking about it. So we'll have that set up for sure once we get to the new house, maybe even before that. So and then for another for like a perk for like the consigliaries or something, <laughs> they're invited to like the Sunday Sauce live show once, yes. once a month. You yes. know what I'm saying? That's oh. only the consigliaries can fucking listen. Ah, and listen, if, if you're in the Godfather tier, you have to show up in a suit no matter you have what. To, yeah. If you don't show up in a suit, we just refund you and we keep it moving. <laughs> you have to show up in a suit, dude. Yeah. I wonder what crazy bastard's going to be in the Godfather tier. Should it be a thousand dollars? I don't know. We gotta, we <laughs> <laughs> there is a crazy bastard that'll do it. We got some crazy bastards that watch this show. Comment down below. What tier would you be in? Yeah. Would you be know. a Paisan for what is, five what is, bucks a month? What is the main, like the low level? Paisan. Is it just Paisan? Okay, so Paisan will be, I like that Because that means like cousin. Yeah, it's like, oh, wait, well, cool, That's my so fucking cool gene. How yeah. you doing? Forget about it. Dude, we should like fucking, I like this idea. Consigliere is a little bit more, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, And then under boss. Or we could just go right to boss at that point. We could yeah. do like, I don't know how many tiers we're going to have, but I like the idea of like Paisan, Consigliere, boss. Godfather. Yeah. Something like that. Four tiers. And hey, what are you in Sunday? Imagine at the strip club, you taking a pitch. Hey, what, what fucking tier are you in? I'm a fucking consigliere. Yeah. For fucking Vidian You Phil. can't fucking talk to me. <laughs> are you kidding me? You're just a little paisan? You are beneath me. Go get me my fucking grated cheese, you fucking piece where's of my, shit. Where's my fresh mutts? Oh my fucking Your God. Mutt. Bro, this is hilarious. <laughs> Fits our theme. Beautiful. Maybe, maybe in the studio, we should make it like mafia style. We should. Like a fucking, uh, like, you know the room in The Sopranos where they all eat sandwiches? Yeah. We should just fucking set it up like that. I really hope we didn't just lose audio. No, we're good. Did you hear that in the headphones? Okay. We can only hear do- that. Okay. It was all fun and games. The Sunday sauce kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But now that we're making money, the most profitable podcast. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We got to step it up a notch with the mafia scene. Dim lighting. Oh, shit. Handles. We should hire a girl Gabagol. to play a violin in the back for every episode. Live. <laughs> Dude. Dude, whoa, we're in sync, bro. 
No, I like that vibe a lot better. No, yeah, it's that's, that's a what, vibe. What fucking set do you see? That's just fucking mafioso to the max, bro. We gotta we got, have we cheese got wheels, just like you oh know? yeah. Bro, we gotta have like sausage links. <laughs> it's gonna smell ceiling. like fucking feet and meat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get back to the Sunday sauce. Good thing we can't is, fucking breathe in anytime here. Anytime we get hungry, fucking grab yeah. a sausage. Yeah, when the guest, Shady Penguin, comes back, yo, you want some sausage? Here bro, you go, Shady. Start chewing it. What is stopping us from having sausage hanging from the ceiling? Bro, I mean, you know, besides the smell aspect, nothing. Just gonna smell like fucking Rocky Balboa's training <laughs> locker room in there. <laughs> da -da -da. If Joey, da -da -da. if your brother, you know, does like, is on the switch to go between the camera angles and shit. Uh -huh. And we're just going to hear, Joey, stop fucking eating. Yeah, what Joey, are you doing? Stop chew we just make everything edible. The whole table should just be a cheese wheel. <gasps> Bro. <laughs> I'll never forget. My, my grandparents brought cheese, a cheese wheel back from Italy once. Bro, it's like a delicacy. Apparently there were worms in it. You just Ew. saw in all the crevices of the cheese. He's fucking. They ate it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I remember being. Yeah. I remember being at the table like, "Yo, get that shit away from me, worm dude." Worm cheese. Yeah, worm Italy. cheese, Italy. Casu Martzu. Apparently, oh my god, let me see. I think that's it, dude. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> There's worms in here. Yeah, bro, and you see them. You see them moving. That's ah. it. That's it. That's ah. it right there. Yep. Get, yo, send that to me right now. I gotta put that on the screen. Brooks, one oh. hour mark. Cheese wheel. That's dude. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Fuck me. But yeah, dude, and it smelt so bad. That looks like popping a pimple, dude. So apparently, like, the worms keep it fresh? I don't remember the ins and outs of this, that, but the worms that, were in and out of it. That's not necessary, dude. Just what's wrong with a nice mutz, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Phil, I've had to take a shit um, this entire episode, so I think it's time to wrap it up. Hey, but, Consigliere, go take a shit. Hey, let's, you, want me, you want to keep going? And I'll just shit? No, you can go take a shit. Meaning, so, meaning, like, we wrap it up, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was going to say, because this could be a long one. We'll take one. it to go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, wrap listen, guys, thanks for watching today's episode of Sunday Source. We <laughs> hope you have an absolutely fantastic Valentine's Day. <laughs> what is this for? I don't know. And we'll see you next time on Sunday at noon. Make sure you subscribe and like. And, Phil, what else should they do? Say hello to your grandmother for You're me. You're your sea shanties. You we'll just went see from you next grandma time. to pirate. <laughs> <sighs> See you later. Soon may the weatherman come, drink that sugar and tea and rum. <laughs> <laughs>